Understanding your RV's electrical system is important, so let's take a few minutes to get to know it. The 120 volt AC power may be provided to the system by either connecting the recreational vehicle to an outside power source when parked, or by use of a recreational vehicle generator. Some 120 volt AC functions in the RV may include the refrigerator, TV, and electrical outlets. When 120 volt AC power is not available, the refrigerator and water heater also have the option of running on propane or the inverter. Refer to your owner's information for details on those options. Batteries are recharged by the power converter when the RV is attached to an outside 120 volt power source, by the generator, or if applicable, when the engine is running. If your RV includes a generator, be sure the battery disconnect switch is in the on position or the batteries will not charge. Your RV has either a 30 amp or 50 amp system and the appropriate power cord is provided to connect the RV to a grounded power source. Now, depending upon the type of RV you have, the power cord could be either permanently mounted or detachable. Take note though, never use a two-wire extension cord, a cheater adapter with the ground pin removed, or put a lower amperage plug on your power cord in place of the molded plug. It could cause serious and expensive damage. Depending on your RV, the batteries could be located in a separate compartment on the exterior of the RV or under the entry step. Be sure you know the location of your batteries before leaving the dealership. It is important to keep the batteries fully charged at all times. Take time to turn off all lights and other 12 volt DC conveniences when not in use. Connect the RV to a 120 volt AC power source whenever necessary to prevent draining the batteries, but not so much that you overcharge the batteries. The charge condition of the batteries is displayed on the monitor panel as low, fair, good, and charging. It is generally located in the control center mounted on the wall. To check, press and hold the monitor battery test switch while reading the charge level on the battery gauge. The care and cleaning of your battery is important to help ensure proper operation. Most batteries today are maintenance free but you still need to be aware of a few things. First, keep the battery mounted securely, because if it is loose, the case can chafe or crack, resulting in early battery failure. Secondly, keep the battery clean. Corroded terminals make poor contact, resulting in poor charging, reducing the battery's useful life. Thirdly, check the outside condition of the battery for obvious signs of damage, and replace it if you find damage of any kind. One last thing, be sure the battery hold downs and carrier are kept clean and free of corrosion. Your vehicle is equipped with a power converter that converts 120 volt AC electricity to 12 volt DC electricity. If your 12 volt DC power is not working and you've checked your outside connection, remember to also check your fuses. It is normal for the converter to hum a bit and to run warm. If your vehicle is equipped with an inverter, it converts 12 volt DC power to 120 volt AC power. The inverter supplies 120 volt AC power to the microwave, kitchen, bath, and selected receptacles when the outside power is not connected, or if equipped, when the generator is not running. Remember that appliances using the inverter drain the battery about 10 times more quickly than 12 volt DC appliances do, so use the inverter only when necessary. There are 120 volt AC outlets in the bath, kitchen and outside that are equipped with protective circuit interrupters. The ground fault interrupters are designed to break the flow of current to prevent accidental shocks in wet areas in and around your RV. For example, in addition to the normal wet areas of your RV's bathroom and kitchen, the 120 volt AC patio outlet is also equipped with a GFCI. Please be aware that when the GFCI trips and shuts off power to an affected outlet, all other outlets in that circuit will also lose power. The 120 volt AC system is protected by circuit breakers, which automatically trip if the circuit load is too heavy or a short circuit occurs. The 12 volt DC fuse distribution panel on most RVs is located right next to the 120 volt AC circuit breakers. In addition to these panels, there may be one or two AC circuit breakers and a fuse on the generator control panel. 
If a circuit breaker has been tripped or a fuse blows, identify and correct the problem before resetting the circuit breaker or replacing the fuse. Remember to not overload the circuit, and in the case of the fuses, replace the fuse with the same size fuse. Do not replace the fuse with a larger fuse than indicated. If reducing the load on the line does not correct the problem, call a qualified RV technician to help.